All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, it is January 10th, 2023, just for reference. And it looks like there, there's some information leaked about the Intel GPU lineup. So, uh, first generation ARC Intel GPUs didn't, I mean, they made a little bit of a splash, but they. I think they were lacking for a lot of people, but it looks like Intel is not throwing in the towel, at least not yet. And there are potentially two more GPUs coming down the line. So let's take a look at them. Where are we at? Bam, there we are. Minimize that, here we go. So Intel Arc GPU roadmap leaked. Two Battle Mage GPUs coming in 2024. Battle Mage. Intel does have some of the nomenclature or like naming on point. The old battle mage. So two newly published slides allegedly reveal possible Intel Arc desktop GPU roadmaps through quarter three of 2024. And the company's plans regarding its codename Battle Mage family of graphics processors. If the slides published by Red Gaming Tech are correct, then Intel's family of desktop graphics processors based on the next generation XE2 HPG microarchitecture will include two units designed to offer different levels of performance. Intel's Arc Battle Mage family of desktop graphics processors featuring the company's XE2 microarchitecture will reassemble the company's Alchemist lineup. It will still contain two GPUs, the BMG G10 and the BMG 21, targeting 225 watts and 150 watts. Uh, this time around, Intel will go after the enthusiast-grade market segment as well, according to the slides. Uh, Team Blue plans to roll out its higher-end BMG 10 graphics processor in quarter 2 of 2024, and then follow up with its performance mainstream BMG G21 later in the quarter. So, let's take a look at this. So Alchemist is what we have right now. And then there's going to be Alchemist Plus this year. And then Battle Mage is next year. Like these names, the naming, the naming alone makes me want one. But the Alchemist of like initial launch didn't quite do it. There are some, there's some pros, uh, but you know, there's, they got to, they got to cut their teeth on these things a little bit. Um, so I am I'm excited to see Alchemist Plus and I'm really excited to see Battle Mage and hopefully they can compete with the uh, the big boys cuz uh, I think it's going to take it's going to take a little bit but I mean Intel's they've been in the game they know what's up they've been making CPUs for years uh if they put their nose to the grindstone um they'll get market share eventually so it it definitely will take a while but they'll get it um power targets for the Arc GPU correspond with intel's recently revealed plans to build gpus for relatively low power yet fast graphics cards okay um there was one more thing on here I guess that was pretty much that was pretty much it. So, um, I'd love to hear from you guys down below. Comment if you actually have one of the Intel GPUs. I never got my hands on one. I think you can just go buy them. Intel GPU. They're just literally for sale, like three forty nine. There's an Arc A seven seventy, A three eighty for one eighty four. Like, you, you looks like you can buy them, but they just they 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 ain't there yet. They're getting there, but they ain't there yet. So um, I'd love to hear from firsthand experience, though. If you do have one, comment down below, please. Um, now, as for the market, we're seeing a little bit of green across the board. Bitcoin is at $17,415. It's up 1.1% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum's at $1,331. Going further down the list, we have XRP at $0.35. Cents. Dogecoin at $0.7.6. Cents. Litecoin at $80.55. Uh, what else do we have? Monero, $160.93. Ethereum Classic, $19.76. Um, and we'll round out the uh, today with oh, Bitcoin SV or Satoshi's Vision, 
39 cents. So yeah, um, spoiler alert, mining is still not profitable, uh, but it's getting really close for it to be to be break even for a residential house, like at average, or not average, but uh, like 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And I, whenever I say average like usage and then people overseas are like, oh my God. And then people are like in California, are like it's, it's way more than that. I understand, but there are a vast majority of people around me that pay 10 cents or even less. So I got to remember it is very region specific. I was about to say Pacific. Um, I didn't get a lot of sleep here lately. Uh, sorry. I missed a couple of days. Me and the wife had to go do some overnight stays in the hospital. Um, she is pregnant and the baby was trying to come early. It's not supposed to come for another couple months. So yeah, we had to spend some time and get all that under control, but everything's good. Everybody's healthy. Um, going to keep the baby in the oven for a little bit longer and hopefully everything just goes good. So yeah, with that being said, hopefully the market keeps turning and next thing you know, mining will be profitable again. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. You never know. You never know. Um, but none of this is financial advice. I'm a guy sitting in a plastic box. This is all entertainment. I will see you on the next one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is much appreciated. <sighs>